Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. Greg Caldwell is Director of Development and Innovation at ATCO. It's his job to help ATCO find a pathway to a low-carbon future. I manage an innovation team for ATCO, and, and our goals, our big strategic goals, is how do we use the energy system we have to reduce our carbon emissions and become more sustainable. But you're a gas company, right? We believe that in Alberta, natural gas can actually help us get to our climate goals as in meeting our Paris commitment and the Pan-Canadian framework on climate. Under Alberta's climate leadership plan, coal is being phased out and Alberta will get 30% of its electricity from renewable energy. Lower emission gas plants will replace coal plants and support increased renewable energy. ACO, at the end of the day, is an energy provider. So we wouldn't say we're just a gas company or an electricity company. We're an energy company. So what does this low-carbon future look like? So a low-carbon future for me is a large amount of distributed renewables as well as utility-scale renewables, as well as things like renewable gases, renewable hydrogens that we store in the gas grid that we already have to help us provide power when we can't generate it off a solar panel or off a windmill. It's Greg Caldwell's job to find innovative low-carbon solutions. In our previous episode, we profiled ATCO's new solar micro-cogeneration system for the home. And with just the CHP alone, get about a 30% reduction in annual emissions. And with the solar in this home, easily a 40% reduction with the CHP and solar and with no other retrofits to the home. Caldwell says they're also working on a solution called power to gas. Power to gas is using a renewable or low carbon source of energy to create hydrogen and then mixing that hydrogen with a source of CO2. And when you put the two together, you get renewable synthetic methane. The idea is to use surplus renewable energy, such as wind power, to make green gas. Caldwell says ATCO's also working on biogas projects, such as using organic waste or even cow manure to create biogas. We're working on a camera that can sense fugitive methane emissions and, and quantify it so that we can quickly find emitters of methane. This is a big deal. Finding and eliminating these fugitive gas emissions in the oil and gas industry could help reduce Alberta's methane emissions up to 46%. There's no question an energy transition is underway, and it's Caldwell's job to help develop low-emissions energy solutions. We believe that people are going to find new ways to provide energy and that we need to help them get there and be a part of that. So, I mean, people are still, we believe, going to need gas and need electricity, but how, how they get that energy is um, going to change over the next 20, 30, 40, 50 years, and we're going to try and help people get there quicker and come up with some good solutions. For Caldwell, the solutions involve renewable energy, solar cogen, green gas, and natural gas, too. We are supportive of the government's goals around reducing carbon emissions, and we believe that in order to get there, that everyone needs to be involved. There's also going to be a part for homeowners to play and business owners, and we're trying to come up with solutions for them, whether it's transportation, how they heat their homes, how they power their home. One thing is sure. Advances in clean technology and the global issue of climate change are bringing big changes to the utility industry. And the companies that figure out how to thrive in a low-carbon economy will write the script for that future. Learn more, check out our video, photos, and blog at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge. Oh,